litany of gratitude after the COVID pandemic. Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we received during the COVID pandemic. After every petition, let us say together, Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For reminding us of the fragility of life, shielding us when no one else dared to shelter us, and opening our minds to what is really essential, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for allowing us to connect with one another with faith and love, despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help when doing so was both risky and life-threatening for them. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for the gift of newly discovered medicines and vaccines to combat the virus and the wonder of natural immunity, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and distressed, depressed and lonely and impatient during the pandemic, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Loving God, no thought of ours is unknown to you. No tear we shed is unimportant to you. No joy we celebrate is alien to you. You entered our world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this we thank and praise you. To you be glory now and forever. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather as one family around the table of the Lord, and we continue to relish the joys of Easter. We beg for the grace that with new eyes we may always see the new vision that God has given us. And so let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, 
Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement toward them in the portico called Solomon's Portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people. You children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us, as if we had made him walk by our own power or piety? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant, Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this, we are witnesses, and by faith in his name, this man, whom you see and know, his name has made strong, and the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted that your sins may be wiped away and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment and send you the Christ already appointed to you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration, of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. For Moses said, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him, you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days, You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, In your offspring, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first, God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O 
Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims, the paths of the seas. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Please stand. <clears throat> the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified, and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled, and why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Whenever we feel at awe or amazed, for sure there is something extraordinary that we have seen. We are amazed at something that we rarely see. We are amazed at something that we consider as extraordinary. Kapag kabighabighani yung nakita natin para bang first time nating nakita yon. That's why whenever there are news about extraordinary phenomena, for sure we can already see a lot of people 
flocking to these places trying to see for themselves these extraordinary occurrences. In our, in our readings, we hear two groups of people witnessing an extraordinary event. In our first reading, we hear the Jews in utter amazement as they witness the healing of the crippled man. In our gospel, we hear Jesus' disciples still in disbelief with what they are seeing. Two groups of people with different reactions. The first one is that they are amazed with what they see, while the others, while the other is still incredulous with what they are witnessing. But one thing is common between these two, these, these two groups of people is that they fail to look beyond with what they are seeing. Nakontento lang sila dun sa nakikita nila. The Jews were just contented with the miracle that they have witnessed. While Jesus' disciples were still holding on to their, to their reasonable minds, how could Jesus resurrect from the dead? Nagtataka pa rin sila para bang may mga, pagdudugam, may mga pagdududa, may mga pag-aagam-agam. And our readings would remind us to go back to the basics. Sometimes we can get, get, we can get caught up with overwhelming experiences in our life that we forget to see that our Christian life is patterned in the Paschal mystery. Sometimes we focus only on our reasonable, reasonable minds and we fail to see the signs that God is already pointing out to us. The Jews in our first reading failed to see the true reason for the healing of the crippled man because they lacked the faith in Jesus. The disciples were dumbfounded because they held on to the dictates of their reason. Let us not forget that after all the amazement, after all the disbelief, we are still called to follow Jesus. And we can always follow Jesus, not through any extraordinary phenomena, but through the simple acts of faith, simple acts of charity that we can easily extend. Minsan kapag may magandang pangyayari sa ating buhay, para bang yun ang nagiging pasimula na meron tayong dapat gawin. Kapag may malaking milagro na dumating sa buhay natin, parang yun ang magtutulak pa lang sa atin para gawin kung anong hinihiling ng ating pananampalataya. Pero huwag sanang umabot pa sa ganong mga pagkakataon. Dahil kahit walang mga kabigha-bigha ng pangyayari, kahit walang, milak, kahit walang malaking milagro na dumating sa ating buhay, hinihiling pa rin sa atin na sumunod kay Jesus kahit masa mga simpleng paraan, kahit sa mga simpleng pagpapahayag ng ating pananampalataya. And this is what Easter would remind us. We are challenged not to be strangled with disbelief. Rather, we are invited to live out the new life that we have received. Sin can overwhelm us. Our mistakes can haunt us. But those things do not define us. It can leave a mark, but it is up to us if we will live according to that mark. It can leave a scar, but our choices can show that those scars are lessons that we have learned, lessons that are valuable, lessons that will guide us, lessons that will remind us not to be haunted by our mistakes, not to be haunted by our sins, but they are there to remind us that God is greater than all of these. If, sins can, if sin can overwhelm us, if mistakes can haunt us, let us also remember that the love of God is the most overwhelming power 
that can wrap us. Please stand. The wisdom of the scripture reveals God's plan for us. As we journey with Christ, let us pray that his path of life may become clearer each day. For every intention we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a church, we may be faithful in proclaiming the gospel of repentance and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in recognizing the goodness of Christ, the risen Lord, we may bring social justice to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the scripture may give enlightenment to those in darkness of sin and despair. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may recognize the presence of the risen Lord in the Eucharistic breaking of the bread. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may rise to the fullness of joy in God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord our personal intentions, remembering all the people are asking for our prayers and for all the people whom we promised to pray for. God, our Father, our hearts burn within us as we listen to your only begotten Son. Accept the prayers of pilgrims journeying on his path of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. <laughs> Stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your increased help from heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, 
who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Hallelujah.